Hey there guys, happy Friday. We hope that you guys are all viewing from the safety of your home, wherever you may be. We hope you are staying <coughs> safe and clean with your friends and family. We are doing things a little bit differently this week. So as you see, I've got a new friend. Um, hey everybody. <laughs> Josh Huff. So you guys have experienced Josh every week, multiple times a week, but you've seen him from behind the scenes. So we're trying to be cognizant of social distancing. So yes it's yeah. good to see you sir yeah exactly but um today we're going to tag team our conversation together so we've got a little bit of a q a session set up for you guys of more of a state of gold bond and then also some great things that you can do to help keep your business going throughout this crazy and uncertain time yep yep but um before i move forward josh i know you had a you had a couple of things that you wanted to well, run through, right? Happy first day of spring. It's yeah. so weird. Like there's, <laughs> it's like normal life is kind of going on, mm -hmm. even though it's so crazy. And I know there, there have been times where I'll be watching a, a show with my wife or something, and you kind of go for a spell and you forget all the crazy that's happening in the world, and then it just kind of hits you like, wow, there's yeah. a global pandemic going on. Yeah, it's kind of nuts. But you know, it's spring and life goes on. And yeah. Yeah. And you know what? I feel like when it's warmer outside, people get a little bit happier because we can do more things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We can still go outside. <laughs> we just need to go outside by ourselves. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. So we're, we're going to be teeing up a few different things today. We have, um, of course, I uh, want to give you just, a, Brittany will be updating us on how the company's going. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of assets we're creating and um, forming right now to kind of aid you as you weather this because we're all in this together. Um, but I wanted to ask you, like, what are, what are some things that have been changing personally just for you and for Mark, just, just life in general, how has that affected you? Cause it's affected everybody differently. Yeah. So I think that's a great question. Obviously there's, there's piercing fear and uncertainty that's kind of sweeping the country right now. And it's changing the way that our day-to-day -day lives take place and our routines are completely distorted. Mm -hmm. So for us specifically, we're in a really, um, I'm a grateful that we're in a good spot to where we each kind of have our designated sections to work from home. That being said, mine is dark and I don't like that. So I've crept into his and he doesn't like that. So I think that <laughs> we're a little bit closer than we normally are yeah. on an hour to hour basis. So that's just something that we need to work through. Thankfully, you do have some AirPods. So I'm a loud talker and I talk on speakerphone. So the AirPods have been very beneficial for Mark. <laughs> uh, but it's uh, definitely force fed our creep activity in terms of what shows do we watch because normally we binge watched on the weekends together and that was kind of like our date night thing and now we're um, finding ourselves trying to creatively like find things to do and some things you're yeah. limited to because you still can't get out or mm -hmm. The normal places that you would go to get supplies to do those things are maybe closed down right now so yeah yeah what about you a bit crazy well i mean i'm in that category of you know school's been canceled for the next month and who knows how longer so i all of a sudden have yeah. uh, all my kids um so i i recently got married so sometimes we have four kids at home all trying to get oh. on the computer and their different uh, chromebooks and thankfully our our uh our county has done fantastic with work from home stuff for kids. So there's teachers I've been getting sometimes 10 text messages a day from each of their teachers saying, hey, I'm live for a Q&A. Here's more resources. So it's been fantastic. Yeah. But doing schooling from home, I've had gigs get canceled yeah. um, for my band, obviously, because all the restaurants are shut down now. Mm -hmm. um, it's just it's just weird. It's just different. Yeah. You know? Well, and it's forcing <clears throat> you to like have questions or um, almost kind of provoke in some sense, it provokes fear for certain supplies, right? So at our local grocery stores, I'm sure like yours yeah. at home, there are a lot of things that are off the shelf and they don't know when they're coming back into stock. So toilet paper, um, all meats like chicken, beef, you know, yeah, a lot of tuna right crazy. now. Yeah, there's just a Yeah, I got the last three boxes of lasagna noodles because my daughter wants lasagna for her birthday party tomorrow. I'm like, uh, how, how are you yeah. lasagna noodles? Yeah. Like, nothing. So what are you so, guys going to do for the birthday? You're going to do the nice lasagna at home? Just lasagna at home and 
just play some board games and hang out. So if she wanted, she's more of an introvert anyway. So this is kind of like ideal situation for her being at home. Yeah. In her room. But uh, yeah. I've been watching a lot of people with kids on Instagram, and they're like, "Man, you know, Google is great, but the amount of crafts, like with the amount of supplies that you need to do those crafts, you just yeah. you kind of got to get thrifty." Right yeah, now, yeah. if not um, the whole go play outside and right. come back when dinner's yeah. ready. <laughs> so we have we have a couple recommendations, which we'll save for later on, mm -hmm. of um, maybe like a top show to binge watch yeah. that you may not, uh, you know, maybe some oldies but goodies. So mm -hmm. we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. But um, Brittany, why don't you give us just a brief overview of what's happening at Gold Bond um, internally and kind of what just what the state of, of things is right now for us. Sure, yeah, so um, like we mentioned before, this is a really frantic time for a lot of people and it has kind of swept a devastating effect across multiple businesses, both inside and outside our industry. All of it does have a byproduct ripple effect or ramification that does affect us in some form or fashion. Mm -hmm. So um, I think that it's important for you guys to know that we're very much in the same boat as you all and we're trying, we will make it through this together, yeah. but it's going to have to um, force our cre creative and critical thinking skills on a new level than we've experienced up until this point. And we're going to have to get quite resourceful. So I think that for all of you watching out there, whether you are a distributor, supplier, small business owner, or family member, um, we are like you guys and what we're doing is we are scaling our facility in all areas and aspects appropriately. So I'm sure you guys have seen a devastating downturn in um, business, right? There's a lot of events getting canceled or postponed until to be determined dates. There's been a lot of freeze on budget spend because of this wave of uncertainty while we ride out what's coming next and how it affects us directly. So we're, we're doing the same things, but we are actively, proactively scaling all aspects of the business to make sure that we can complete, fulfill full capacity of the order volume as it rises and drops, um, and which is kind of a daily occurrence right mm -hmm. now, I think for a lot of people. And we are definitely utilizing our creative aspects to next level. And we're putting together a lot of great programs for you guys. And I can touch on this now or, or later yeah. if you feel. Well, I mean, I, I think it's important that, that you heard like, I mean, two big things that I walk away from from what Brittany just said. One, we're still taking orders and doing as much mm -hmm. as we can to fulfill those orders and get those out to you guys. So we haven't shut down. Um, and you know, this is a very, yeah. everybody keeps saying a fluid situation, which is funny because all the hand sanitizer, like, yeah. it's a fluid situation oh, with hand sanitizer. Yeah. <laughs> um, but that's, that's, yes. that's encouraging. Mm -hmm. And also we're, this is weathering this, we're, we're going to get through this. Like it's going yes. to pass. The trade shows are going to come back. So many things have been postponed and at least on the marketing side of things, which that's the, the team I'm in, we're like get wow. ready because we know once this passes it's going to be slammed as everybody tries to cram yes. in basically 10 months worth of work into like six or seven months yes um yeah. it's it's going to be nuts and so yeah we're, we're here for you we're going we're gonna to get through this so yes. what are some of those creative things that we're working on yes. uh, in the meantime as we try to get through this yeah so <laughs> some of you may have seen we launched a layaway program earlier this week so that if you do have customers that um, still want to buy their goods but they don't actually have a place to ship them because their event has been postponed then you do have the layaway program as a leniency option right now while we kind of weather the storm so i think that a lot of people have taken to the layaway program in a short amount of time because it buys you a couple of months to figure these things out with your client because we just don't know mm -hmm. right um, yeah and that way they're not going to get totally slammed when yeah. those things do come the goods are already printed yes yeah, so we'll execute your order as we normally would if it was any other day without this pandemic. And mm -hmm. then um, what we'll do is we will store your order for up to three months with no storage fees. So it gives you a little bit of time to figure out what's going to take place for that event. And we've even had some people that have said, hey, you know, the event is no longer taking place, but these are still valuable items that each attendee would have needed or that these people can use in their home today. So mm -hmm. they um, are asking us to kind of repackage them, if you will, and drop ship them to specific locations. So that's been super, super helpful. Uh, we are like many of you that are getting a ton of 
requests for ideas for work from home people or just what can I offer right now while this is going on because you know, some people do have a normal space that they naturally work from home for and they have their mouse pad and they have their drinkware and their pen and notebook and all that good stuff. But there's a lot of people that don't. So I think you're yeah. talking about two different types of communities when you talk about somebody who's geared for and ready to work from home and somebody who's never had to go through that type of experience before mm-hmm. and, and what that looks like. Yeah. So I've seen on the news people that are, are literally using ironing boards as you know yep. workstations or um, two cases of water stacked on top of each other and they got their laptop up there. And, uh, although it's funny and it provides some sense of comedic relief, there is still a need for those people to get some things that can help promote their efficiency even though they're not in the office on a daily basis right yeah. now. Yeah, and something even as simple as like noise canceling headphones or like yeah. earbuds because a lot of us, if you go home, your kids are at home with you now too mm-hmm. and being able to drown out that noise and be able to focus. So there's there's a lot of ideas we're going to be putting together yes. over the next couple days and even hours as we work on stuff today and over the weekend that you'll be you'll be seeing yes so we have all the ideas right now and we're ping-ponging them back and forth but we're creating the literature to Mm -hmm. create a nice polished finish for you guys that can give you some good better best concepts based off the need um we do also have inventory on the way i think there's two types of inventory that we need to talk about one is deep inventory we have made huge commitments to inventory that is already in the building on all of the staple items in the industry. And that could be things like drawstring bags or Mm -hmm. just writing instruments, pieces of drinkware that are popular. Those can all still fit in a work from home environment. Seen a ton of people reach out to us for grocery totes or drawstring bags. There's been a little bit of back and forth on that, but right now there's some grocery stores that are just in limited supply of bags and they're yeah they're using their boxes that their goods came in to give to the patrons so that they can carry stuff to and from their car and to and from their home but these grocery totes have been very popular for that and also as the grocery uh, as the vehicle to make your kit out of Mm -hmm. and then you also have um you know things like bag clips so those are popular too just because right now while we're all trying to ration appropriately or maybe we're buying things that we normally wouldn't buy like uh, things that have longer life shelf time right the bag clips can be super helpful for um, conserving your resources Mm -hmm. if you need and those are very inexpensive and things that are really good to use in your work from home kit today yeah absolutely yeah yeah there's been a lot of um call even to do more self promo stuff Mm -hmm. because even though right now you may not sell some of these goods um people that receive them are going to remember that this was the company that gave me the bag to go grocery shopping this is the company that gave me the wireless charger charging dock or whatever it might be Mm -hmm. when i had when i was in time of need and they're going to remember you oh i'm going to go to that company for my exterminator or for you know whatever business so don't forget that. I mean, this people are being very generous right now, and yeah. that's you know we have a lot of deep inventory, like Brittany said, on yeah. some of those things. People always remember the way that you make them feel, right? So yeah. right now, while there's a little bit of uncertainty and people are apprehensive or timid, then this is a great opportunity for you to act as a support system for them and give them um, some nice relief. So Right, and we're gonna be dripping out some videos about some of our salespeople's favorite uh, deep inventory yeah. items over the next week. Um, so, you know, stay tuned on social media for us. That's where all of our stuff's going to be. And that's really something that, that you guys can be working on as well. And I've seen that suggest from so many people is when you don't have as much to do with on sales or doing those kinds of things, you know, re refresh your website, refresh your social media, get a new profile picture done, Mm -hmm. um, work on a few of those things. And of course we have, um, so pro here in house to yes. uh, if you need graphics or things put together branded with your logo we can definitely be in touch with you about that program but yeah it's just this is the time to take advantage of Absolutely. those resources and you build your following now and as soon as this is over you're going to be set to go to just explode yeah and to really take off once this passes right and now you can kind of harness some of the connectivity that you may not have been able to in the past because people have been busy with meetings or work mm-hmm. and now more people are sharing space on social media because one they want to stay 
they informed to their seeking out answers to questions that they you know just never had to experience this type of thing in their life before right. so they're wondering how other people are doing it but it gives you an opportunity to reach out extend a hand and build a relationship with people that you may not have gotten a lot of communication from otherwise and mm -hmm. social media has been a huge outlet for that um, so yeah. yeah, the soap pro is most definitely if you don't have the means to necessarily get a tangible item like a self promo or something like that, then definitely invest in the online resources because one, you'll get more reach that way. Uh, but two, it's the most frequent way to stay in contact with people throughout this time. So yeah. And if you have questions about getting started on social media or that stuff, I'm, I'm available. Contact your rep um, here and we, we can definitely get you yeah. in the right direction. Mm -hmm. And we do have hand sanitizer on the way. So it is in limited supply. We're getting them in waves. I'm sure just as all of you are, mm -hmm. but if you have needs, for those things, we do have a lot of one-time use things like antiseptic wipes, um, hand sanitizer, BZK antibacterial wipes, um, soap. People really want soap right now in packages because as sanitizer is kind of in a um, you know frantic yeah. state. And soap, soap works is, just as good. Yes, it's the hands. next yeah. best thing. And for people that maybe don't have the resources to get out to their grocery stores and get those things, those are amazing things to include in your care yeah. packages. So Brittany, people are stuck at home. What is one recommendation for a show that's binge watch worthy that yeah. <laughs> maybe was popular a few years ago, people maybe forgotten about, or something on right now? Yeah. What's your go-to? So I think I did not plan to do this this way, but I think that this outfit is a little fitting because one of the most amazing shows that Mark and I binge watched for a long time was Game of Thrones, and I love this show. Yes, one. It's not a quick show, so you've got a lot of seasons lot to run of, yeah. through that can pacify some time. But no matter what your preference is, I think it spikes on all different types of emotions. So it's a lot of mental chess because there's so many storylines intertwined. So I think that that was one of my favorites and one that I think you can watch over and over again because there's so much going on that you kind of yeah. forget some of the craziness that happened in the earlier seasons when you get to the later ones. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah I show? have... I have I have two that I'm watching right now. Um, one from a while ago um, is Sherlock. If you've never seen Sherlock, that is on Netflix, um, but it's it's a fantastic. It's with uh, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch and the other guy Martin. I forget his name, but anyway, it's a great show. Great if you're into like mysteries and uh, really quick wits and those kind of things. It's a really really interesting show, and it also has longer episodes. So there's yeah. four seasons. Each season is only three episodes, but they're like an hour to hour and a half long each. So it's kind of like watching a movie series. So that's that's a really interesting show. Yeah. Um, sure. But hmm. I mean, uh, Parks and Rec is kind of my go-to funny show. It's it's in that Office theme. It's on Netflix too. But uh, so I've it's heard a of quick, this show, but awesome. I've not seen any like trailers or anything. For so, Parks and Rec. Yeah. So it's great. It has Amy Poehler and Chris Pratt are uh, two of the bigger name stars that are in it. Okay. Um, but it's in that docudrama style, like The Office. Okay. And um, it's just, it Fitting follows, right. <laughs> uh, you know, just work in local government and you have kind of the, uh, it's just not a great ensemble cast. Yeah. So a number of those people have gone on, like this was Chris Pratt's first thing that he did before he got really big with Guardians of the Galaxy and all the other stuff. I know that. So, um, yeah. anyway, it's, yeah, a couple, couple fun shows. I'm sure you guys all have your Worth favorites. Cruising. Yeah, if you have anything that you think we should check out, feel free to drop that in the comments. Yeah, um, most definitely. Share that with, the, with our promo family. But Yeah, and any kid-friendly ones would be greatly appreciated because we know that we have a huge community with people that have little ones, so yeah, anything Yeah, Game of Thrones help. might not be the best yeah, like, family-friendly stuff. Right. But, uh, you know, after the kids go to bed. <laughs> yeah, I only have a dog, right? So I'm a dog mom, so yeah. it's not quite as relevant. She just kind of chills out on her little bed while we watch TV, so... <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, so going forward, we're going to try to keep doing some of these Facebook lives just to keep you posted on what's happening within our company and our industry. It might not always be on Friday, but we'll let you know. Mm -hmm. And we'll always um, drop these on all the social media channels, including YouTube. Um, so you can always subscribe, follow, like, share, all those things. Yeah. Um, Brittany, where can they follow you on Instagram? Yes, thank you for the plug. Um, so I am Goldbong Gal Brittany. I literally got a Facebook last night. So 
bear with me. Whoa. Yeah, Follow that's me big for me. I've never had a Facebook before, so I don't even know what all these buttons mean. And it took me forever Welcome to realize I had to a comment family. in there. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, but right now, like you mentioned earlier, with social media being so important for us to communicate, I wanted to get on different channels. But please bear with me if you reach out to me on Facebook, because I'm still learning how to even use yeah. it. Yeah. Um, and uh, for you guys that are at home, I'm sure you will see your sales reps dripping out on our social channels too. So yep. Josh, can you tell us which ones are the most popular for people? Yeah, on um, I mean, a lot of them are on LinkedIn. So of course, as we're a, mainly a business to business organization, follow your reps on LinkedIn. Um, I know that um, Tracy Lance and Hannah Owen are all over Instagram. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And then on Facebook, I mean, you can just kind of look through the list of people that are watching right now. So hi. Uh, you know, I think Tracy Pruitt's on, recommends The Office, uh, but John Broughton and okay, our president, yeah. Mark Gotze, um, Mark Gotze Goldbond, I think you can find him there. He is. <laughs> um, but yeah, just follow, follow our company. Um, we'll keep you posted yeah. and all of our reps are going to be sharing stuff out there. So we're on all the major platforms yep. and uh, we'll definitely keep you guys posted. So I'm, yeah. I'm going to slide behind the camera to turn us off, but Brittany, yeah. any, any closing words? Yeah, I think um, the biggest thing that we want to say is thank you. Uh, thank you for your support. Thank you for all of us that are working through this together. These next few months are going to be devastating and complicated for all of us as we navigate uncharted territory, but we're excited to collaborate and work through this together with you and we will get through this. So if you guys have any questions um, or would like to see anything important come from us as a supplier to help you with your business through this time, please let us know. We want to aid and support you in any way possible. But hope you have a good weekend and we'll see you next time.